it. Do we have well, you, I don't know. It's always dependent. Like, um, you don't know if you are totally prepared. It can always <laughs> be so But this piece, it is actually so great that you can have it in very different spaces and it will have very different energies. Uh, I, I, I imagine. Different energies are uh, not so much. It's a lot of energies. This is always very, very energetic. And this energy is transferring into the audience. I mean, this is always. But it's always different because uh, according to the audience types, I mean, sometimes you <laughs> realize also that you have some kind of prejudice. Mm -hmm. That you think, okay, now we're mm. going to perform in South America, they're all going to bounce like crazy. Yeah. But it's not like that. Okay. It is not. No. <laughs> they are totally like this. And then at the end they scream. So it's but always different. <laughs> you <laughs> know, in my case, I have to admit, I bounced, but I didn't see it live. I just was in my other oh, video. Oh, so I can't wait to see you in the audience. <laughs> it's Actually, bouncing. yes, my girlfriend always tells me not bounce always in the theater shows, but if there's an offer, I uh, take it. But actually. is it very, very, very? The bass is very loud. Yeah. Because it's a certain video. Uh, yeah, it is uh, loud. Yeah, uh -huh. it's loud. It's techno. So and what we could could see from the video, there are three men mm -hmm. lying the on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of dark. Yes. And then pretty soon this pulse starts. Yes. Huh? Yeah. And this pulse goes on in yeah. different yeah. variations. Yeah. But yeah. And of course um, they are dancing. They're starting to dance. They are, it takes a long time until they stand up. Huh? They are a long time down yeah. on the floor. Yeah. Can you um, describe it a little bit, because you did it several times, what happens or what can happen uh, less with the dancers that are on mm -hmm. stage, but in the whole space with the um, mm -hmm. spectators, so to speak? Um, it, it doesn't, it cannot happen much. Right? I mean, this is, this is the only thing, the audience is going to eventually start to bounce a little bit, mm -hmm. maybe, but maybe not. Mm -hmm. we, cannot, we are not expecting anything okay. from the audience. Uh, uh, I think they have to, it has to happen uh, like, and it's every time different. So it's there's not like an explicit invitation to go, mm. go at in? At a certain point, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, at a certain point, yes, there is. But uh, you can see that each audience uh, is a little bit fighting with the decision. Mm -hmm. Shall I, yeah. shall I mm -hmm. go for mm -hmm. it or shall I just... Mm -hmm. Uh, am I am I really allowed to do it? Mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. this is so special, specific for audience. Audience really knows his role as an audience mm -hmm. and think that's that's it to be an audience. And we are trying to break that. We're mm -hmm. trying to break the that the audience is only an audience. You know, the audience is in the same space as the performer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the audience is very important part of the performance yeah. and this is also with the, the pieces the next pieces we are, we are doing now that mm -hmm. is very much um, the, the, the last uh, the pre last performance we just did uh, we don't even know at the beginning who is audience and who is performer because they all look the same the mm -hmm. audience gets the costume ah, and then okay. you, uh, they are entering the space and they are looking for the performance and they don't find it for a while and this is so nice to see that the audience suddenly gets also into a performing thing and and then you are also looking at the audience body and say wow this is a very interesting way of moving mm -hmm. and um, momentum is not so extreme like this mm -hmm. but the audience is also invited to be part yeah. of the of the performance if they don't want, of course. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like in a disco, not everybody dances. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Would you say this is um, your first piece that goes into that direct direction? So is it an uh, important moment for you as a choreographer, this momentum? Um, I mean, that goes in the direction that the audience is, mm -hmm. is, uh, is kind of asked to make decisions. It's not the first one, mm -hmm. but momentum is a little, can say it's a step in, the p in our work because um, it, it seems that it was something we were looking for yeah. for a long time in a sense of having a performance that's completely improvised mm -hmm. that it's based on tasks on really fixed tasks and they are so strict that the, if they do something else it doesn't work mm -hmm. but it's completely improvised a little bit like the um, DJs they have their models their music bits and they are do the scratches and they are improvising in the moment mm -hmm. and so that was always kind of a something I was looking for mm -hmm. and it happened with momentum so uh, this is um, it was an important step for mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. and also um, this was um, 
it was a little bit a product of a situation, a mm -hmm. time, uh, because we have a, a, a residency in Switzerland, mm -hmm. a three years residency, which is based on has different uh, parts, and one of it is research, mm -hmm. and so it was so cool to just research and do not do a performance. Um, and uh, we decided to research and mixing with other bodies to mix with um, break dancers, parkour people, kids. You do already also. So you them. met these people? Yes. So the um, momentum was the first of a series, and we had a three weeks. Uh, I don't call we uh, workshop because it was a meeting mm -hmm. with one guy that does parkour, and uh, with him we worked. Um, uh, three weeks and then after he came to Bonn um, and uh, he became a dancer mm -hmm. in one week but we didn't become <laughs> <a> parkour, <laughs> parkour <artist. laughs> but then uh, we and then uh, yeah it was just I was really um, tra uh, attracted from the way they land and the way they take off mm -hmm. and it's very soft it's not um, it's very very soft cat like yes mm -hmm. and they are um, very um, uh, very light it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's really uh, it's really cool to mm -hmm. watch mm -hmm. and it was really fun to work with this guy and just one of our dancers broke his foot <laughs> after one week so that was a little bit less fun but um, things happen and then um, after these meetings we started to create the tasks mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. so um, and it was the first series of this because also um, our residency has the other part of the residency is to to write a glossary about our about our working tools mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then we were thinking a long time where well, what what is this glossary for and uh, is it is it for dancers it is for choreographers and i thought this is boring because there is so many glossaries mm -hmm. but i wanted to do a glossary that is to to make move bodies mm -hmm. any kind of bodies so this we are trying out so mm -hmm. we have um, a task and then w uh, we spend maybe a week on the task and then we start to understand what are the possibilities of these tasks and then uh, put names, it's super difficult to yeah. put words mm -hmm. in yeah. the task. And then we try them out with the kids, for example, because we have two juniors company, mm -hmm. one in Bonn mm -hmm. and one in Switzerland. And we try the task with them. And it's so interesting <laughs> to see little small guy of eight years mm -hmm. and you tell him a really complicated task, which is, for example, catching the disappearing. And this, yeah, this is always language, huh? It's yes. always language. Mm -hmm. And we try because this is the most difficult part. To, because we have of course a picture of this task and how mm -hmm. it should what can what kind of uh, movement quality yeah. it would bring catch the disappearing would be like <laughs> grabbing something <laughs> that's not there yes. or that goes away exactly <laughs> yeah. exactly and then you think okay this guy is eight years old and then i'm gonna give him this task and i'm gonna try to have no prejudice no 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 um for um, no uh, um idée préconçue you say mm -hmm. in french yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and um and you try to to start totally new blank and then you look at this and you give him exactly the definitions what we have been creating we took a week to do it and then we think we are so intelligent no? <laughs> and then <laughs> and then this kid said okay and, and then, and then he's doing something so beautiful mm -hmm. and this is really really nice so this is what we are doing now also uh -huh. we are creating for each piece there is new tasks and we of course we make a, a list a selection mm -hmm. and then we, we work um, on those tasks and we try to really define what um, an explanation so do you have like three parts you have the title mm -hmm. yeah and you have the definition and then you have eventually but I'm not sure if I want to do it really, a little small video, uh, example video ah, okay. of the task. And then, um, then we would create an app for mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. because it would be the, the idea would be that everybody can use it, mm -hmm. and then uh, and can also add some information or some new experiences, mm -hmm. what they did. And then after we are looking at it, then we can say, okay, we keep this new, this new centered in or we take it away because mm -hmm. uh, if we would write it in a book 
it doesn't work because it's always mm. changing. Yeah. No, it's mm. a, it's yeah. never. It's not something fixed. It has to continue. And to be participatory on that level yes, too, huh? Yes, so it's exactly. even a wider range. Yes. So it goes out of the theater. It goes out yeah. on the streets and the, of the Up. apps of the kids. Yes. And they can. Yeah. And they can take interact. a half and say, like they do with break dance or yeah. hip hop mm -hmm. moves. So they mm -hmm. can start to touch the disappearing mm -hmm. and see what comes. No. Mm -hmm. but, I, but I find the way going via language very tricky because yeah. this triggers creativity. I would say, huh? When I just copy. A video yeah. clip, yes. like I would do with hip hop mm. dance yeah. to do it right, yes. and it's not triggering my thinking. How would I do yes. it? Yeah. And how are, is the exchange between the groups you're working with? Are they together doing this, mm -hmm. finding solutions for your tasks? Yeah. Or? So uh, we have different sessions. I mean, of course, we work very intensely with our dancers, with our searchers, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we have sessions where, and then we work with the junior companies. Mm -hmm. We also had a project we were working with refugees, mm -hmm. and it's not well, it's because they are refugees is not different. But uh, in in the countries they are living, normally the bodies are very uh, different from us in the sense that they move much better mm -hmm. um, because they, it's part mm -hmm. of the of the life to move to dance mm -hmm. to night no, and. Mm -hmm. But uh, there is another thing with them, is most of the time it's only men, mm -hmm. very little also women. A special movement yes, then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, more women are not so allowed to go out and mm -hmm. to, to dance with us. But so, uh, so we have those sessions, and so those, those uh, moments with the refugee group were always very, very interesting mm -hmm. because they bring amazing qualities in the space. So we have the sessions with different groups, and then we have the sessions together. Okay. Mm -hmm. The exchange. And now we're going to start a project in the summer, which is a little bit an, um, a topic. I don't know if it's going to work. We're going to put all those bodies together mm -hmm. on stage, and uh, the the working tool is a glossary. Mm -hmm. The the concept is a cast, <laughs> and the product is an utopia. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see what it's going to be. But um, we want to create a, a body language together with uh, the different bodies. It would be 20 people on stage. Oh. Yeah. But still, how would you describe the differences between a professional educated dancer mm -hmm. and it's his or her movement range mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and a child in the, at the age of eight? Um, so, well, there is a different um, tonus in the mu muscle work. No? Mm -hmm. Of course, when it's a small child, mm -hmm. but um, for me, I don't see a difference. Um, I, no, it's not right. How can I explain this? Uh, I don't speak about uh, uh, the difference. I, for me, I take all those bodies. They are all um, artists. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't treat them like children mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because I don't know how to work. I'm not a pedagogue, mm -hmm. and I don't want to be one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, if he's uh, if he's eight years old, he has to have the same intensity of present, yeah. like a dance, like a dancer that learns that and that yeah. has a lot of experience on stage, and they do, because you g you bring them on a spot where they have to take a responsibility, yeah, and they become so strong, yeah, yeah. That's and uh, and it's amazing. And what I love to, w it's very inspiring, I found, of course, for them to work with our dancers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's very inspiring for us to work with them. Because you go back to normal gesture and mm -hmm. to, not normal, but um, pure. Not yeah? so disciplined. Not sophisticated. So yeah. sophisticated yeah. Mm -hmm. You cannot take out of the dancer body all the mm -hmm. things we have been learning. Mm -hmm. And and then you you put them together and somehow we become we are transforming ourselves through the meetings with them. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine to have like a piece just without dancers, but also without like only with audience members, for example? This I didn't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the the ghost bee that we just did. There is a we did a joke in the kitchen and we said, oh, actually it would be nice to have. Uh, 50 dancer and one audience ah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it would Great be idea. it would be nice and economically then well <laughs> <laughs> yes it's true <laughs> so we said what do we do no 
And then, and then we, because it was about ghosts, and so we made mm -hmm. this stupid joke, ah, oh, everybody wears a sheet over yeah. the head, and, uh, and then, <laughs> and then suddenly we said, but this is not so bad, this is actually, not so bad, yeah. if everybody comes in the space and is totally, is, is costumed, and so we, uh, and then I thought, you know, very practical freelance problem. You say, who is going to wash those sheets every mm -hmm. day? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> so I, I thought maybe we have to do something else. And the costume designer said, what about uh, pillowcases? Uh -huh. And is then we saw pillowcases uh -huh. with two yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we thought, ah, oh, but then we see the body, then we see, but no, it's really transformed totally. And the funny thing, she bought many different ones, and ah, everybody okay. had a different personality. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like you know, the flower girl. Yeah. And and <laughs> one looked like Ben Bass Bros. It's really yeah. funny. <laughs> okay. And then, and then um, I thought, hmm. Maybe the audience, you know, especially in my hometown in Switzerland, they all go to the freezer, to the mm. hairdresser, yeah, and they get mm. this perm, and they're not gonna wear it. No, everybody wears the thing. Great. And they put, they say, "Wow, well, you, you say, yeah, you cannot enter without this." And they enter one after the other one, and they come in there, and it's really uh, 60 performers. Mm -hmm. That are Amazing. in there yeah. because they mm -hmm. they feel so super you. safe and they will start to walk around like this. First of all, they are de disoriented <laughs> because yeah. it's dark and yeah. and they, they walk around and then they say, oh, this is maybe the dancer and then it appears that they are all performing. Wow. But that I didn't great. think about getting rid of the dancers because I love my dancers. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, okay. And they are really great. So. I don't uh, imagine a piece without them yet. Yeah, okay. I think Raphael, we also fulfilled the task unknowingly, walking from one place of a trans platform to the uh, Eröffnung and opening. Opening, <laughs> very good, I'm so, so happy. So maybe last think. question to you as a um, movement specialist, <laughs> since this was our first time, yeah. how was it? Talking and, and walking, walking very slowly through well, this Well, I realized that I lost my balance a few times <laughs> yes, because I was too. looking at you and I was like, oh, you're a little bit drunk. So this I realized, but... Um, and then we stopped when we had a very deep conversation. <laughs> <laughs> when we have to think about it. <laughs> and, but yeah, yeah. Um, it's better than sitting, I thought. It's I strange, it's, but yeah, better yeah, than sitting. It's, yeah? so it's somehow it's more relaxed. More yeah. relaxed. And I must say, I'm lucky because today is nice weather. Now I heard yeah, the yeah, next yeah. days the it other might be cold. Uh, minus degrees. And yeah, and it I must will say be harder. Yeah. Cold, I cannot <laughs> think. So I'm super happy that it, um, we started. Yeah, great. us too. Thank you very Thank much you. for the talk. <laughs> yes, Have a nice, nice. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. festival. Yes, yeah. we will see each other the next days probably. And we were looking for momentum. Tomorrow afternoon, I think. Yeah, tomorrow. Three yes, we are there. Yeah. <laughs> Come and you. bounce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ciao. I will bounce. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.